Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well, Saywan. How are you? I'm I'm good. <laughs> yeah? Hi. Oh, hello. Hello, Tingli. Hello. How are you? Nice to see you again. Yeah, yeah. Nice to see you as well. You've been taking a lot of classes lately, haven't you? Uh, yes, I have taken a lot of class recently. Uh, are you liking Klingo? Yes, I like this website very much. <laughs> okay, good. good this good. website gives me an opportunity to uh, talk with the lady with the English. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's very true. That's true. Um, okay, uh, say one. Do you like this site? Fine. Yeah, it's fine. Can I ask you guys a question? Is it free or do you have to pay money? Sorry? Like, is this site free or do you have to pay money? Ah, uh, this site, Kolingo? Yeah. Mm. Have you ever paid money or is it free? Have you paid money? Yes, yes. Do you have to pay money to learn English here or is the site free? Uh, do you know the word free? Sorry, I couldn't understand what do you mean. And do you know the word free? Word? Yes, the word. Ah, uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay, is this site free? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay, that's all I wanted to know. Do you have to pay money to learn English or is it free? Uh, actually, uh, when I study TOEFL, yeah, I I did pay. Uh, I paid for that. Okay, for but what about? Oh, yeah. Okay, you paid for the internet. Internet lecture, online uh, lecture. Okay, but you don't pay here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Okay. Well, today we're uh, we we are going to play a game, and I want to start off with something called an icebreaker. It just breaks the ice. Um, mm -hmm. it's called going on a picnic, and um, how it works is I decide whether you can bring something to the picnic or not. Okay, and there's a secret that you are supposed to figure out, uh, and then you would know what you are allowed to bring. Okay, so for example, uh, we're going on a picnic, and I, I am going to bring bananas. Okay, now, uh, Hayer, can you? Uh, why don't you tell us if you what you want to bring um, on the picnic, and I will tell you either yes or no if you can bring it, and then all of you are going to try to find out what the secret, um, how how you can bring your 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 food on the picnic. Okay, uh, so Sewan, why don't you go? Why don't you try to bring something uh, on the picnic? Apple. Uh, no, you cannot bring apples, but thank you. Uh, Sonia, what do you want to bring? A rug to sit in. Oh, a what? 
A rug. A R U G. A rug. No, you cannot bring a rug. Uh, okay. Ting Li. Ting Li. Can, what about what you, a pair? No, you can't bring a pair. Okay, thong uh, fam. I need a pen. A oh, pen okay. used to fry. No, no, you can't bring a pen. Um, a fam fam. Uh, uh, I, will bring, I will bring a lighter. A lighter. No, not not today. You can't bring a lighter. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to go. I'm going to bring bananas, and I'm going to bring balloons. Okay, so right now for our picnic, we're going to have bananas and balloons. Mm -hmm. uh, say one. What do you want to bring? Uh, I want to bring bread. No, you can't bring bread. Uh, Sonia, what do you want to bring? I want to bring some water. Water? No, can't bring water. <laughs> uh, t Ting Li, what would you like to bring? I like to bring a box of pineapple. <laughs> some pineapple. Uh, no, not today. You can't bring any pineapple. Uh, fam fam, what would you like yeah. to bring? I like to bring a towel. A towel? Okay, yes. yeah, yeah. You can bring a towel. Sure, why not? Yes. Okay, good. All right. Let's see. We got some new people. Uh, Ferdinand, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, we are playing a game um, where I, we're bringing things on the picnic, and I decide whether you can bring it or you cannot bring it. And so far, um, I am bringing bananas and balloons, and Than Fam is bringing a towel. Okay, so uh, Ferdinand, what would you like to bring on the picnic? Oh, I want to. I want to bring um, a mat for me to use to sleep. Okay, well, not today. You can't bring a mat. Hayer, <laughs> Hayer, uh, what would you like to bring? Oh, I bring food. Uh, bring Ferdinand, food. Ferdinand, you can bring food. That's fine. That's fine. Hayer, can you hear me? Okay. No? Okay, Roger? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Roger, what would you like to bring on the picnic? Uh, I want to bring the games. You want to bring games? Yeah. Uh, not today. You cannot bring games. Okay. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> say Juan. Say Juan. What would you like yeah. to bring? Yeah, now I know the rule. I will bring strawberry. Yes, you can bring strawberries. That is uh, fine with me. Uh, Sonia, what would you like to bring? I would bring some spoons and forks in order to mm -hmm. eat with. Oh, you can bring spoons, but you can't bring forks. Okay. Okay. Uh, Ting Li, what do you want to bring? I'll bring a lighter. No, you can't bring a lighter. You can't bring a lighter. Uh, lighter, uh, lighter. Lighter to set a fire. No, you can't bring it. Not yet. Uh, Than Fam, what would you like to bring besides a like, towel? Uh, I would like to bring a sleeping bag. No, you can't bring a sleeping bag. No yeah. sleeping bag. Uh, yeah. Ferdinand, what would you like to bring? I want to bring... Uh, <laughs> a lot of bananas here. Yeah, you're out of bananas. Well, you have food. What else do you want to bring besides food? Food here, banana. <laughs> here, banana. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of bananas. A bunch of bananas. Okay, well, no, Ferdinand, I'm bringing bananas. You cannot bring bananas. I want to. I want to bring a plate. You want to bring a plate? No, you cannot bring a plate. Thanks. <laughs> uh, so I can't say, bring. Uh, say one. What would you like to bring? 
Um, <coughs> I want to bring strawberry and sausage. Okay, you can bring the strawberries and you can bring the sausage. Okay. Um, Sonia. Yeah, want to bring you... some bowls? No, you cannot bring bowls. Cannot bring bowls. Yeah. Uh, you can bring the spoons, but no bowls. Ting Lee. Yeah. What would you like to bring? I like to bring my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what is her name? Her name is Katie. No, nope, you can't bring her. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Than Fam, what would you like to bring? Uh, I, I would like to bring uh, a tablecloth. Yes, you can bring a tablecloth. Yeah. Uh, and Ferdinand, last round, everybody, last round. Ferdinand, um, what would you like to bring? I want to bring tissues. No, you cannot. Tissue. You cannot bring t-shirts. No, tissue, a tissue. Oh, a tissue. You still can't bring it. Nope. Nope, you cannot bring it. Um, I'm Sarah. I'm Sarah. What would you like to bring on the picnic? Okay, I bring my book. Uh, what? Okay, you want to bring your book? No, you cannot bring it. Uh, last round. Let's see, Roger. What would you like to bring? Uh, fish. No, can't bring the fish. Oh. Um, see, say one. What would you like to bring? Uh, I want to bring. Swan. <laughs> you're gonna bring a swan. You're gonna bring strawberries, yeah. and you're gonna bring sausage. Okay, that's fine. You can do that. Uh, <laughs> Sonia, what do you want to bring? Yeah, we need to bring some candies and sweeties. You can bring sweets, but no candy. <laughs> uh, Ting Tingli, what would you like to bring? If I have to bring something, I think. Uh, I would like to bring some fireworks. <laughs> uh, not today. Not at this picnic. You cannot bring it. Uh, and Than Fam, what would you like uh, to bring? I would like to bring a raincoat. Okay. No, no today. You cannot bring yeah. a raincoat. Okay, everyone. Um, the game, if, if you didn't notice, is I said yes to anybody uh, based on their name. If if the thing they brought was the same letter as their first uh, the first letter in their first name, I said yes. So say Juan, her name begins with an S. So she brought a swan. She brought spoons. She brought sausages. Okay. So it doesn't matter what you bring, but it all depended on the letter. So I my name is Ben, and I brought bananas, and I brought balloons. Okay, and that's why I said Sonia could bring sweets but not candy, and she could bring spoons but not forks. Okay, and that's why Ferdinand, you could bring food, but you could not bring bananas, okay, or towels or anything else. So that that was the secret of the game. Okay, you could only bring anything that began with the first letter in your first name. Okay? All right. All right. So now what I want to try is this game. Let me show it to you. It's called Shoots and Ladders. Have you ever heard of the game? No. Well, I haven't. Okay. Do you see it on my screen? Yeah. Yeah. I know that. Snakes okay. and ladder. Yeah, we call it Shoots and Ladders because a shoot is like a slide. Ah. Okay, and so here it's Snake and Ladder, and I'm just going to split you up into two teams, uh, and we're going to start, and um, I am, let's see, how do we decide how far we're going to go? Um, oh, what do I have? I used to have a deck of playing cards. What I can do is do a roll dice generator, where online it just rolls the dice for us. So hold on one second. 
Or actually, you know what? No, no. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay. And so we can go farther. I'll let it be two dice that we're rolling. So for example, a six. Six and a six is twelve. Okay. Here we go. So what I have is we're, I just have simple things that uh, we can practice our English, but still have hopefully have fun with this game. Okay, and let's see. Let me look. What do I have? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So, uh, Fan Fam, Ting Li, Sonya, and Say Wan. You're all on the same team. And Roger, Michelle, I'm Sarah, and Ferdinand. You're all on the same team. Okay. So I'm just going to call you, uh, let's see, Ferdinand, I'm Sarah, Michelle, Roger. You're just going to be team left. <laughs> All right. And everybody uh, is going to be team right because that's how I see you guys. Okay. Um, for Michelle, if, even though you don't have any audio, um, you can type your sentences in the group chat. Okay? She and that's how you can play. That's okay. That's okay. No microphone. You can still type. So, let's see here. The first, I will give it to uh, Team Right, and I will let Than Fam go first. So, let's see here. Than Fam. Yes. Uh, Okay, number one, can you just unscramble the sentence and say the correct sentence? Can you see it? See what? Can you see the sentence? I want you to no. correct the sentence and put it in cor the correct order. Here, here you go. Yeah. Can you put that sentence in a correct order to make sense of it? What sentence, uh, teacher? Do you I can't see, see anything. Do you I see, see any group, group chat? It's in the group word, chat. The word uh, was uh, eaten by a uh, crocodile. Yes, okay. So, say one. you went for your team and you are correct. The bird was eaten by the crocodile. And that is the sentence. All right, so let's roll your dice. There are, some, there are some problems with my message bar, so I can't see anything okay. in my message bar. Okay, oh, that's fine. Okay, let's let's try something else. Okay, where you guys can just interact with me. Okay, um, where is it? Occupation. Okay. All right, I am going to give you, you're still on two teams, okay? I am going to give you a category, okay? Um, and so let's say it's now um, Team Left's turn, and Ferdinand, I am going to give you a category. What I want you to do is I want you to think of any word in that category, and then I want you to try to explain to your teammates what it is okay now the other team is still listening okay and whoever answers first will get the points okay whoever can guess the word from the category that you are trying to explain will get the points so for example if I give you the category fruit you think in your head of all the fruit you can think of okay I got it and now I'm going to, to try to explain to you what it looks like or what it tastes like and then you guys have to guess. So it grows in the ground. You need to cut it open with a knife before you can eat it. It looks like it has crazy hair. 
it's yellow on the inside, and it's two words put together. What do you think it is? It's a fruit. That is not it's a fruit. It's spiky. Like when you touch it, right, it, it has like little spikes. It doesn't hurt your hands, but it's really heavy and big. But you need to cut it open, okay, to eat it. And it's pumpkin. sweet. Not a pumpkin. Yeah. It's sweet, but it's also sour. Is it a jackfruit? No, not a jackfruit. It's, it's Orange. similar. No, it has crazy it's, hair. Crazy hair. Ananas. It's, it's kind of melon. No, no, not guava, not banana, not a melon. Um, not ananas. Kiwi, kiwi. Not a kiwi. It's big. It's big. It looks like a head. Think of a head as big as my head with like crazy hair on it. Okay, and you cut it open, and it's yellow. Can apple. Can apple. Yes. Yes. Can yes. I yes. said it in oh. French. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So who said pineapple? Me. Who's me? Hey. Roger. Roger, yeah. Okay, so Roger, team left. You guys get the points. So let's see here. You roll the dice, and you go to four. All right? So on my shoots and ladders game, where is it? You go four spaces, you're nowhere. Okay, you're just on four. <laughs> okay, let's see here. So team left... You're ahead right now at four. All right. Now that's the idea of the game. Okay. So now I uh, let's see here. Ting Lee. Yes. Okay. I want you to think of a vegetable. Okay. Think it in your head and now try to describe it to everybody. And the first person that gets it, their team will get to move and shoot some ladders. Uh, vegetable. Let me think. And remember, try to guess in English, <laughs> not French. <laughs> it's a bit hard for me to describe some vegetable. <laughs> okay. Because I don't even know the name of most vegetables. Well, can you think of uh, one name of one vegetable? I'll, I'll have a try. Mm. Uh, this uh, vegetable is uh, uh, like a flower, but it is bigger than flower. It it is not uh, red, but it is green. Uh, it is like a very big, bigger flower. Uh, <laughs> a very big green flower. Yes, green flower. Okay. The color is green. Okay. Iona says, is it broccoli? Yes. It is broccoli. All right. <laughs> All right. So we're going to... Um, Iona is not even in the, the video. She's on the outside. So we're going to have to make an entire team of people on the outside. So now we have three teams. We have team left, team right, and the people from the outside. So... Let's see, people from the outside, roll dice, you got a seven. So you guys are at seven, nothing happens. That's usually how this game works, <laughs> nothing happens unless you fall down the snake. So let's see, team outside, seven. And team right, you ha you're still at the very starting point, you're at the beginning. Uh, but very good, uh, Ting Lee. Uh, way to go on describing. Let's see. Um, I'm Sarah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. The the category that I'm going to give you is jobs or occupations. So think of one job or occupation and then describe it. Okay. At. Um a job, uh, a man who uh, work with it uh, is doing uh, operating surgeries. 
if if you guys can hear her, you know, go ahead and guess. If you can't hear her, go ahead and ask for her to repeat what she said. I can't. I can't hear. Okay. okay uh, can yeah, you? Yes, please repeat it, and if you can write it, go ahead and write it in the group chat. Okay, a man who make or hope, uh, who perform operations or surgeries. A man who performs operations or surgeries is what Doctor. she said. Doctor. Are you? Is that right, Sarah? It's a surgeon. Uh, yes. It's a surgeon, not a doctor. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Say one. You're you're close to being correct, but it, I guess uh, more specific. You had to be a surgeon, which is still a doctor. But uh, I'll give you both half points. All right. So I'll let you both roll. So team left and team right, you can both roll. So for team right, you get a ten. Okay. Where does that go? That goes nowhere. Team right, you got a ten. Where am I? Ah, too many things. Okay. And team left, what number are you already on? Team left is already on number four. They roll. They get seven more. Four and seven equals eleven. And you go nowhere. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Um, Michelle cannot sp speak. Roger, can you describe for us? Uh, okay, um, something inside your house. Something inside your house. Yes, this is great. Uh, it's... I am a team. Uh, oh, okay. Mm. It has mm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well then think of something in your room. Okay. Or it's think of something in the bathroom, the it's kitchen. Has four feet. Uh, it has a. Uh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know what to describe, or you don't know how to describe it. Yeah, how I describe. Okay, well, think of the shape, think of the size, think what you use it for, think how you make it, think what it's made from, think how heavy it is, think of the color. Okay. Think who uses it, why you have it in your house. Okay, it's... Uh, it has many buttons and uh, it has a toad pad uh, it has um, it has a screen um, computer? Oh, th this is easy. <laughs> uh, is it a computer? Oh, no. Yeah, laptop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I'll, I'll say that's yeah, the this same. Is very easy. <laughs> okay. All right. So it's a laptop. It has many buttons and it has a screen. Okay. That's good. That's good. So um, who said laptop? I know Yona said laptop, but so, it's, who said computer? Ferdinand, you said computer, right? I, I said, I said computer. 
Ah, uh, okay, team lead. Okay, so team right. All right. Uh, you're on number 10. Iona, I know you got it uh, right as well, but I, I'm going to give it to Team Lee since he said it first. Uh, you guys got 11, and you're already at number 10. So you go to 21, which you actually climb a ladder from 21 all the way to 82. Wow. Okay, so you guys are about to win the game. Maybe. <laughs> Good job. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, team right is at 82. Crazy. All right. Um, let's see here. Roger did that. So, Sonia. Yes. Have I have I had you guess or uh, describe yet? Not yet. No. Okay. Think of an animal. Think of an animal. Okay. Okay. And then, and then describe that animal. It's small animal that we can find it in our house with four pet, four legs. Is it a cat? Uh, That's part of it. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> I think you gave it away when you said you can find it in your house. There's only a few things people have <laughs> as pets because we know it's not going to be an elephant. <laughs> we know it's not going to be a shark, you know. So why 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 can't it be a rat or a mouse? It could be. Yeah, that's true. It could be. Um, that's a good, very good point. All right. Let's see. So Ferdinand got it. Team left. Where are you? Team left has at 11. Roll dice. You got a 7. So that's 18. And apparently you got caught stealing, is what it says. But nothing happens. Okay. So you're at 18. All right, all right, all right. Let's see here. So Sonia went. Ferdinand, can you describe something for us? I want you to describe a place in the city, like a business, whether it's a, a bakery shop or a computer store or a bank or a park or a hospital or whatever. Okay, it's a place. Um, it's a wide, it's a wide place, or it's a wide area, and a lot of, um, a lot of, um, like, um, how do you call this, um, there are, there, if you can see, like, a, um, dragonfly, it looks like a dragonfly. Okay. And there's a lot of people. In it. So it's a big open right. area where there's a lot of yeah, people yes. and, and dragonflies. Yes. It's shop, it looks uh, like a dragonfly. It's like a big dragonflies. It's shopping. Is it a shopping center, Ferdinand? No. No, it's not a shopping center. Oh. What's dragonfly? A dragonfly is, have... is, is an insect. That, you uh, say it's an insect. Yeah. It's a fly that's pretty big. It has wings. I think it has like two sets of wings. And um, yeah, they're just big. And they lay their eggs in the water. It, 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 is it a zoo? It's a, a pot. Is it? A, a spot. Is it an airport, Ferdinand? Yes, it's an airport. Yeah. Wow. <laughs>
Do you have a dragon in a report? This is new oh. for me. <laughs> yeah, it's a good description. I like that. It's symbolism. Um, okay, so Than Fam, you got that. Uh, good description, Ferdinand. Uh, let's see, so Team Right is at. Team Right is at 82. Okay. You got 8. So let's go to 90. 90. Nothing happens. So you guys are good. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see here. Uh, say one. Have you have you described anything yet? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see here. What do I want you to describe? What do you think? Um. Okay. Something you can find in the ocean. Okay. I like that. Um, uh, this creature um, can 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 change their color and uh, uh, no, uh, they can um, they can use camouflage. They can uh, change it. Sarah, can you speak? Do you see that, say one in the Google chat? Is it a well or an octopus? Choose one of them. Choose one oh. of them, Sarah. Octopus. Cameo? <laughs> octopus. Yes, octopus. All right, Ferdinand, team left, got it. It is an octopus. Very good, Sewan. Very good, Ferdinand and Sarah. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Team left, you're at 20, aren't you? No, you're at 18. Okay. Another 7, 25. Nothing happens. Okay. Now, um, again, I'm just going to put, uh, instead of doing categories now, I'm just going to put a sentence in there uh, in the group chat, uh, but I'll also say it out loud since some of you cannot see group chat, and the first person on the team that can correct the sentence, uh, I will let them roll the dice. Okay. <clears throat> So here is here are the words, and it says, "Bring you please cookies, me some back will store the from." And for well, it's too long. I can't remember. Okay, here. Can you see that? Please I can't bring... see anything. Please right, bring one. me some cookie back to me, please. Please. Wow. Please bring me some cookie uh, from store. Uh, bring. Uh, Will you bring some cookie? Uh, some. Will you bring? Will you bring me some cookie? Uh, Please bring me back. Please bring me back some cookie from store. Okay, okay. From the store. From the store. You're close, but it's not perfect yet. We are, we are you please bring me some cookies back store. <laughs> oh, you're so close. You're very close, Tingli. Um, uh, Will you bring me back some cookies from the store, please? Okay, there. You're just one word is off. 
Off, yeah, off. So, so you just need to move one of the words to another to another area. Okay. Now, uh, who said who said will you bring me back some cookies from the store, please? Who said that? I said. Sarah. Sarah did. Okay. What I what I originally wrote is will you please? So I put please as the third word. Will you please bring me bring back. bring me back some cookies from the store? That's how I had it. And whoever said it, they took please and put it to the end of the sentence where you just say, will you bring me back some cookies from the store, please? And that works too. They're the same thing. Um, and so I'll give it to team left. And you got another seven. And you're at 25, I believe. Okay. 25 and 7, 32. 32, nothing. All right. Let me give you guys another sentence. I can see your share the screen now. Okay, good, good. So I'm doing number 10. Okay. There it is in Google Chat for everybody else. It's question number 10. I like my professor in philosophy. Uh, I. I like the big picture because it's I remember. And you're close. I like my philosophy. I like my philosophy. My professor. I like my because philosophy class because the professor is interesting. Yes, that is correct, Lee. That is correct. Okay, I like my philosophy class because my uh, teacher is, in, is interesting. Yes. Okay. So, Ting Li on team right, you get six points. Where are you guys? What are, you're at what, 92? What number are you at? Let's see. One second. Okay, you're at 90 and you got a 6. So now you're at 96. Let's see what happens. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> There's not much to this game, is there? Alright, let's try another one. <clears throat> no, any an easier one. So the, the sentence is number six. She wants to go to 
so she want to go to so she want to go to the to tour for her birthday, birthday. Okay. yes um there's a lot of articles in there she wants to go to the zoo yes for her birthday yes Very good. Um, let's see, Ting Lee, who got that? I think he is me. Yeah, me first. <laughs> All right, I'll give it to both of you, Roger and Ting Lee. So, team left. You got a nine. Hmm. <laughs> You're at uh, 25 plus 9, you're at 34. So team left at 34, nothing happens. Okay, and now team lead. You get an 8, and I'm pretty sure that wins it for you guys. Okay, but you're already at 96, and you go eight spots, one, two, three, four, and you make it. So technically, Team Right, you guys are the winners. Congratulations. Yay! Give yourself a hand. All right. Now I'm going to try... <laughs> it happens, it happens. All right, let's try this. Okay. All right. I, I've tried this in one of my classes and it did not work and I would like to see it work. Do you guys know the word fortunately? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so do you know its opposite, unfortunately? Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. Now, do you know what they mean or how to use it in a sentence? Yes. Okay, so here's here's the game, okay? I start off, and I'm going to just say a sentence, and I'm going to think of an idea or something happening, uh, and I'm going to say, fortunately, this thing happened to me, and then the next person is going to create a sentence, but they're going to say something within the story about unfortunately, so something now bad happens, but we're going to try to create our story together. We're not going to create different sentences. We're going to create the same story. Okay? Sure. So. Okay. Uh, yes, is there a question? Uh, for example, fortunately, I will go to Disneyland. I don't know. Uh, make this? Yes, and then unfortunately, I get there and it's actually closed. Ah, what do I do? Well, fortunately, uh, I decided to go to the zoo uh, next to Disneyland. Unfortunately, my sister fell into the bear cage and was eaten by a bear. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> like, okay. like that. Okay, so I'll start off. Uh, so, uh, fortunately, um, my birthday is coming up real soon and I'm very excited. What about you, Ferdinand? Unfortunately, you're very far from here, and I come and join, join your birthday. Okay, very good. Uh, Sarah, can you write it, or can you speak it? I don't know. Uh, okay. Uh, Michelle? Oh, she doesn't have a microphone either. Can you write it? Can you write your own sentences of fortunately and unfortunately? And Roger, uh, let's see, Ferdinand did something unfortunate, so I need a sentence now that is positive from you. Okay. Fortunately, I, I can go your, in your birthday. 
Okay. All right, good. Say one. Um, unfortunately, um, your birthday cake didn't, uh, not ready yet. Okay, good. Sonia? Fortunately, I can send you a gift by mail. Okay, yes. Uh, Ting Lee? Uh, unfortunately, this gift isn't for me. Okay, good. Now, here, here's what I want us to do. We're going to try it again. And this time, um, when it's your turn to take the sentence, you are that person. So now, for, for the last example, it was your birthday. Okay, you're not coming to my birthday, it's your birthday. Okay, so you take the place of the person speaking, and so now um, you're talking about yourself and uh, what's happening to you. So here, the next example, I'll just say, uh, fortunately, I just got into Harvard Law School. Yeah? You understand that? Uh, okay, for uh, Ferdinand. Um, unfortunately, uh, I was not able to enroll in the same school. Is that right? Uh, okay, so you got accepted, but you did not enroll. Teacher, can you yeah. repeat? Yes, I was saying, um, fortunately, I just got, here, I'll, I'll write it down too. So I said, fortunately, I just got accepted, I just got accepted to Harvard Law School, okay? Fortunately, I just got accepted to Harvard Law School. And Ferdinand said, unfortunately, he forgot to enroll. So mm -hmm. even though we got accepted, we're not in school because we forgot to enroll into the school. So um, Sarah and Michelle, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll move on past to Roger. Roger, tell us something good that happened. So even though you got accepted into Harvard Law School, you forgot to enroll. So tell me something good that that you decided to do anyways. Hello, Roger. Are you there? Unfortunately, I I didn't get to accept it there. Okay. Well, I've um I already I already said that since uh we did get accepted. But then Ferdinand said he did not enroll. And that word is where you put your name down and say, I am coming to school. Because they accept you, right? But you have not accepted them. So they don't know if you're coming to their school or not in, unless you enroll and say, I'm going to take classes. Okay? Mm -hmm. So uh, they accepted me. And then Ferdinand forgot to accept them, and so now you're not going to Harvard. But something good still can still happen to that. So what do you think, Roger? What's something that's fortunately happened? Uh, I'm unfortunately accepted there. Okay. All right. Say one. I am not. Um, Roger said they re accept me? That they, that they re-accepted you? I'm not sure. Roger, what, what were you saying? I need you to say something uh, fortunate, something good. Can you say something good that happened to you? Me? Yeah. Oh, uh, fortunate, fortunately, I yes, I, I, oh, it's this, this things I just got. Uh, fortunately, I, 
I got she accepted there. Yeah, it's the same thing. Um, okay. Yeah, okay, here, Roger. Uh, hear me out. Okay. So I give a sentence and my sentence was that I uh, Harvard Law School accepted me to their school. But now something bad happens, and Ferdinand said that unfortunately, right, uh, he forgot to enroll. Okay? He forgot to enroll. So now that's the bad thing that happened. Okay? So now, now he's not going, now we are not going to Harvard. Oh. So, so now you have to give us something else that's good. Fortunately, I I didn't uh, forget to enroll. Well, okay. You don't want to. You don't want to take away what Ferdinand said. You want to add to it. So since Ferdinand uh, said he forgot to enroll, now we have to move on in our life. We have to go somewhere else and do something else because we're not going to Harvard. So what else can we do? Maybe you got a job, or maybe you won the lottery, or maybe oh, okay. Harvard Law School burned down, and so now it doesn't matter, you know. But you have to think of something good to talk about. But but the school is no more. We did not. We forgot to enroll, so we're not going. So what else happened in our life? Uh, okay, uh, fortunately, I I I can do. Do this enroll. Uh, try to just try to stay away from Harvard. No more Harvard. Okay. Tell me something good that happened in your life. Okay. So uh, you got you you got accepted to Harvard, but you forgot to enroll. That's a mistake. Okay. Over. Now moving on in the future. Tell me something else that happened in uh, your life that was good. Fortunately, I. I will go to the USA in this year. Uh, to Can where? You? Where Where are you going? Uh, to United States. Ah, okay. So, and so, then, yeah, you can say no, that. So you're like, fortunately, no. oh. I'm still going to the United States. Ah, Very good. I will go. To Okay. All right. Uh, is that how you say the United States, or is that just the European Union, or are you talking about the uh, Arab Emirates, the United Arab Emirates, UAE? Yeah. Uh, you uh, can be Disneyland. I don't know. Okay. All right. So you're going. You're going to. Let's say it's the UAE. Okay, which is the United. White House, <laughs> Arab of the Emirates. All right, say one. What do you have to say about that? What something unfortunate happened? Um, unfortunately, I also forgot to book air airplane ticket. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh. So it looks like we're not going to the UAE. <laughs> we're very, we're very forgetful. All right. So, uh, Oh, USA. Okay, Sonia. So we're not going to the USA. Okay, tell me something good that happens to us. I have to say, it, unfortunately, not or fortunately. You're doing something good. So fortunately. Fortunately, I just got accepted in an English school there. Oh. Okay. Uh, make tell us where. English school and where? In Los Angeles, in Boston. Oh, yes, maybe, yeah. Okay, we'll say LA. We got accept, accepted to a different school in the US in LA. Okay, so that's good. That's good. Ting Lee, how do you want to finish that? Okay. Uh, unfortunately, I got an air crash in my way to the United States. Oh man, that's horrible. <laughs> Alright, that's very good. Fortunately, I, I, I successfully jumped, uh, uh, 
what the parachute. You, just, you had a parachute, so you live. Yes. Unfortunately, yes, I, I got a parachute and uh, I I I I lived. Okay. Good. Good. Unfortunately, though, uh, when I made it down to the bottom of the ocean, there was a shark waiting for me. <laughs> uh, so, that's all right, a that's a, a big shark, exactly. But he was fortunately he was not hungry, so he just said hello. You know? <laughs> so okay, that's that's our class, guys. Um, it it uh, I I hope you guys um, had a chance to. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, our class finished now. <laughs> yes, yes, this is true. But fortunately, uh, you had an hour, hopefully, of fun. So, all right, guys. Well, thank you very much for coming to the class. Uh